Does asthma always involve wheezing? No. Uh, and in fact, there are many people that never experience wheezing. Asthma is a chronic condition affecting the lower respiratory tract where the muscles surrounding the airways are become hyperreactive and very twitchy and they squeeze and tighten. And as they squeeze and tighten, that can limit the airflow, which can cause wheezing. Typically, we need to listen with a stethoscope to hear the wheezing, but some people, you know, you can hear them wheeze. More often than not, asthma is just going to cause cough. Uh, it's typically prolonged cough after upper respiratory infections where people will cough for two to three weeks uh, instead of those who without asthma may only cough for five to seven days. They may have repetitive cough uh, upon exposure to certain triggers. Uh, they can also have shortness of breath and difficulty breathing. Uh, it can cause a lot of chest tightness as well. So the absence of wheezing does not mean that somebody doesn't have asthma. Asthma is a mostly clinical diagnosis uh, based upon the pattern of symptoms that occur. Uh, we often use response to widely available medications to see if people may have asthma. So if we think they have asthma and we treat them with bronchodilators and their symptoms improve, that suggests maybe that's what the cause is. And then we also have pulmonary function tests that can support a diagnosis of asthma by measuring levels of inflammation and lung function as well. So there's no true diagnostic test that says, yes, you have asthma or no, you don't, but it's more the picture of all these things put together. Most importantly, if you have concerns uh, that you have asthma or your child has asthma, please talk to your personal doctor and uh, try to figure out what the diagnosis is and come up with a treatment plan that gets your symptoms under control.